I'm Rachel Pilchlope. I am currently a doctoral student here at CGPH in the program on population impact, recovery, and resilience. Personally, I work on projects related to the Zika virus. Uh, we're sort of looking at how the population perceives the risk and uncertainty and public health interventions related to uh, mitigating the consequences of the virus. So are they willing to delay pregnancy? How do they feel about indoor spraying? Um, and we are we have a grant from the National Science Foundation to look at that over four waves uh, this year. So we asked folks, have they heard of the Zika virus? It's what we're calling aware of Zika. And then we asked them if they understood the specifics of the virus, that it can cause birth defects, that it can be sexually transmitted, that people can have it and be asymptomatic. And that's what we're calling knowledge of Zika, which is here. We looked at these based on demographic differences. And the stars in the table indicate if there was a statistically significant difference. And so this table is meant to just communicate that there are clear differences between what we're calling awareness and what we're calling knowledge, and that those differences do vary based on demographic characteristics. We released a report uh, already once about the data, uh, public health practitioners uh, and anyone else who's sort of interested in how do we better communicate, better approach uh, the Zika virus. With Zika, you know, there was a lot of attention to it. In the first six months it came about, there's a lot of uncertainty around it, but the national attention has fallen off. Yet the potential consequences, babies being born with microcephaly, those are still very real. The city health department is very concerned about sort of an uptick in Zika potentially with people traveling over spring break. And so there's still uh, behind the scenes attention, but I think less so on a uh, on maybe a national scale. Another project from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation also related to Zika, which follows a panel of women, so the same people interviewed over time, to sort of track intra-individual changes uh, related to similar, similar ideas. It's challenging but interesting to keep a foot in all those different projects and be involved in things ranging from data collection to analytics to then translating the, that information to both an academic audience and a public audience. So it's valuable, but it's definitely challenging.